It's been more than a decade since King Charles visited Tasmania, but his name will forever be linked to one of our cities. On the eve of his coronation, we're taking a look back at his royal tours, including the trip which granted Devonport city status. After first visiting the Apple Isle beside Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip some years earlier, and then Prince Charles had his first major responsibility here in 1981, rolling into Devonport to proclaim it Tasmania's fourth city and first in the North West. I shall watch the progress of this city with the greatest of interest. He even had a vision for the newly christened city. For instance, fountains running with wine or double-decker buses instead of single-decker buses. While Charles lapped up the moment, he shared the spotlight on his next visit two years later. Lady Diana! Lady Diana, she can meet The public's attention was split as new wife Diana joined him for the trip. The pair had been morphed by Tasmania's royal watches as the couple they'd seen only in magazines was in the flesh at last. Crowds piled on the flowers and the affection. Next time in 1994, Charles had the spotlight all to himself again, meeting a patient Hobart audience. He said, a very smart hat. Trainees. And they took their hat off to him, <laughs> meeting those in a southern job sub, before heading west. The papers proclaimed where to see him in Strawn. And the world's media was once again there to capture every moment. Some locals, though, weren't too bothered. Only a person just like us, so... What's the big deal? The engagements began from the airstrip with a poodle. How often do you clip those things? <laughs> no dog days here, though, just hair of the dog at the local pub before a visit to the Mount Lyle mine and the town attached. Queenstown's main street hardly warranted roping off. No crowd control needed. Where his conservation heart reignited. There'll be very few places left in the world, I guarantee this, where you will have such natural advantages. So all I can say is make the most of them, try and keep them. And in 2012, his most recent trip, starting at Richmond. We are Australia. Where his agricultural side was indulged and the public also had a glimpse of Camilla. Will this be something you'll never forget? I might forget it. Unforgettable for most, though, now to wait for his first trip here as King. Tom Johnson, 7 Tasmania News.